you say you love me, but I don't think that is true. It's all. Hey guys, my name is Beth DX, so welcome back to another exciting video. This time today, we're definitely going to talk about something different. And we're going to talk about a character that, 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 um, that, that there might be some people or like a lot of people wanted for a very long time. And that is Estella Bright from, from the Legend of Hero series. Basically, her new game was Trails of Cold Steel. And we're going to talk about her wherever she's going to be in Smash Bros. Ultimate to appear in Fire Pass Season Volume 2. So, first, let's get into the example big thing stuff. So, remember how that um, Dante from Devil May Cry is a big Capcom character? For example, um, like, like, look, like, look, here's, here's what I'm explaining about why we're going to talk about this new character, except for the other characters that are different too. So let's say this, for example, Dante is a big, huge, the right character, and I feel like that normally, to me, like he's he's um the only character most likely to be like in Smash Bros. Ultimate. I did I heard a lot of like you know couple of like like request things and like theories going on why this character has been like you know totally weak rumor and stuff like that. But that's all that we're talking about. But yeah, like I'm giving for like example how like. It, like is that a bright from Legend of Heroes a series that that she might appear like in oh, I'm not saying that she was like been leaked rumored or like deconfirm or confirm anything like source. This is just like basically a fun speculation for this. So basically Adante was we before a lot of times I think and rumor for it because if you guys even know he was appeared in Shimmy God Tensei I think it was Shimmy God Tensei D Devil of like I think it was Shimmy God Tensei Luther's Call and I feel like this is the game that was on there. Basically, it was on, too. I can't exactly remember where Dot appeared, like, in this game. I think it was totally, like, she be got to, like, three, like, like he, I feel like that normally Dante was a special guest, and this character was cool and all. Don't get me wrong. I know that he's, like, um... Cool character, like to see in Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I feel like that normally the only big hitters that I'm definitely trying to see is Dante and what's the um other protagonist name? I forgot. I think it was Demon Fine, which is uh from yeah. yeah. Tensei 3, I think. And basically, I feel like that this is the character self from his own franchise and stuff. So, yeah, I'll basically show you what it looks like. It looks like this. He has his um, transform. Well, I feel like this is like might be like a, you know, like a persona thing. Basically, he's just human and stuff. But, yeah. So apparently his appearance was up here in North Korea Drama C D and it was totally it, it, uh ten say three. Because I mean the demi fine and also Dante, those two characters might be huge. Because since um Dante 
from Dolby, like, cry, uh, cry 5. Since he has his old, old game, uh, look at Dolby Cry 5. Um, it's not on Nintendo Switch. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, like, for, like, example. Because, I mean, it could be, like, a Dolby a, a fine and, like, that, um, Persona 5 protagonist that we don't know what his name is about because that's like another type of example information thing. But anyways, guys, wait, wait, let's get into the Alleged of uh, Heroes content for Ezo Bright. So, her future um, cinematic, like, reveal trailer, I would imagine that it would be just kind of like Sephiroth's, like, it's kind of going to be familiar how it's like, oh, yeah, like, like last time on, like, on World of Light, Galeen just appeared in the Sephiroth, like, reveal trailer. But now, after that, like, it's going to be, like, Mario, Samus, Zelda, Mega Man, Pac-Man, Richter... Simon, Pikachu, King K. Wu, Donkey Kong, and everyone else got hurt in reveal trailer. Like, until you see a Sephiroth laughing, and that stuff, and then she might use, like, like her weapon as well. I mean, as though, like, she would be such cool. I would imagine her, like, as, like, a, you know, a character like she would totally be fun like that's kind of like my position on there as well on characters okay so basically on i don't even don't know who are the which who are the uh, the, the legend of heroes ca ca characters specifically i didn't even, like heard this game yet and stuff, but I know it's like, yeah, it was totally like the the Cole's you know, like series. Like I feel like that like might happen though, as well as like, yeah, Cole's Zero Three, like which might means might be the case and stuff. Game as well, but yeah. I'm going to type characters because specifically I want to know what the characters are. Okay, so this is the character they have is Coral, Reen, Axel, Rainford. So many, like, they might, like, add, like, a West of Spirits, or I feel like that there might be, like, something like. I, I, I would say about, like, 25 or 45 spirits of them. Because, I mean, they'll be fun. Like, to be honest, I feel like that they might be, like, just, like, huge and stuff. I mean, like, the character itself, that, like, I feel like that these characters were told since and like I potentially agree. But yeah, that's all my prediction, guys. So yeah, guys, tell me comments below. Do you guys think that um SL Bright from the Legend of of Hero series is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as a DLC like character? Because I personally I do think that she would totally be fun. And her reveal show um, might be, like, super cool, extremely epic to see, like, a cool fight on Sephiroth versus XL Bright. Like, imagine, like, like that, that like, that, like, fight is, like, like totally, like, would be cool for, like, DLZ. I, but I don't think it's going to happen, though. To be honest, guys, this is just a fun speculation because I just made this video up. So yeah, guys, 